All right. Welcome to Itty Bitty Storytime. My name is Miss Deanna, <laughs> and we are going to have a lot of fun today. So we're going to read a different book, and we're going to have a new early literacy tip, and we're going to go over um, some of the same rhymes and songs that we had last week. So to begin, I have my trusty Doug here, um, who's going to be my baby for the time being. Um, and I just want to point out that repetition is really important um, in early uh, childhood development and also for adults. So the fact that um, we're going through all of this again is a really good um, way to keep those rhymes stuck in your head and so you can do them on your own. So, all right, to start, we have the song Wake Up Feet. So we are going to hold baby and we're going to grab onto one of the feet and we are just going to wiggle it a little bit. So here we go. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Perfect. And now we're going to grab a hold of one of those hands. So here we go. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Perfect. And now we're just going to do a little boop on the nose. Here we go. Wake up nose, wake up nose, wake up nose and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up nose, wake up nose, wake up and wiggle in the morning. And now for the most fun one, we've got our tummy. So we can do a little fluttering on the tummy. Wake up tummy, wake up tummy, wake up tummy and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up tummy, wake up tummy, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Perfect. All right. So that was our beginning song, just to kind of get everyone a little warmed up there. Um, and our next one that we have is called Come Along and Sing With Me. So for this song, you can do a little bounce in your arms if you want. You can do a little sway also. Um, it's just, it's up to you. So we're just going to sing this little song and that's all you have to do for it. So Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me on a sunny Thursday. So that's all. That's all you have to do. So we'll do it one more time. Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me on a sunny Thursday. So this is a really nice one that you can just kind of pull out at any point in the day um, and try to just do a little comforting sway with it. So that is Come Along and Sing With Me. Here's one that we did um, last week as well. It's called Go In and Out the Window. And this one's really fun because you can make it, um, well, you can customize it any way you want. So we um, usually do like a little rocking for this, but the really fun part is you can extend that rocking and do a deeper one. So when you go in and out the window, you'll be kind of reaching forward and back. But if you don't want to do it that way, you can just do a simple sway. So it's just, it's dependent on what works best for you and for baby. So, all right, we'll do this one a couple of times too. Here we go. Go in and out the window, go in and out the window. Go in and out the window as we have done before. <laughs> Here we go. Go in and out the window. Go in and out the window. Go in and out the window as we have done before. So a good note too for that song is you can do it standing up or sitting down. So whichever um, you know position you're already in works best. So that's why a lot of these are really nice because you can do them um, at your convenience. Okay, so here's a really fun one. It's called On My Foot There Is a Flea. So we're going to grab hold of a little foot right here and what we're going to do is pretend that there's a flea on it. So our flea is going to climb up and going to climb down. So 
We'll try this one a couple of times too. On my foot, there is a flea. Now he's climbing up on me. Past my belly, past my nose, on my head where my hair grows. And that's a really good opportunity to just um, really caress the head and make it even more comfortable. On my head, there is a flea. Now he's climbing down on me. Past my belly, past my knee, on my foot. <gasps> Take that flea and you can do a nice little blow right on the foot. Nice little blow. So we'll try that one one more time. On my foot, there is a flea. Now he's climbing up on me. <gasps> Past my belly, past my nose, on my head where my hair grows. On my head there is a flea, now he's climbing down on me. Past my belly, past my knee, on my foot, <gasps> take that flea, we'll blow it away. So that's just a really fun one that hopefully gets baby laughing or giggling um, with all of the, the gentle tickling. So our next one involves some bouncing um, and some swaying in this direction, like, a, like that. So, and we're gonna lean to the left and to the right, but nothing too extreme. And again, whatever feels best for you and baby is whatever will work best for this song. So, um, We'll do this one a couple of times as well. Here we go. Mama's little baby loves dancing, dancing. Mama's little baby loves turning round. Mama's little baby loves dancing, dancing. Mama's little baby loves to boogie on down. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Hug that baby nice and tight. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Hug that baby nice and tight. Perfect, awesome. All right, we'll do it one more time. Here we go. Mama's little baby loves dancing, dancing. Mama's little baby loves turning round. Mama's little baby loves dancing, dancing. Mama's little baby loves to boogie on down. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Hug that baby nice and tight. Lean to the left, lean to the right. Hug that baby nice and tight. So that's a really fun lap sit song um, that again you can pull out when you're on the couch, if you're watching something, um, just a nice little fun song to engage in. So this week we have a new book to read and our book is called Hello Bugs. So this is all about making noises. So this is gonna be really good for baby. Um, it's gonna really help to hear those sounds um, and for when you mimic them, baby will um, start to eventually mimic them too. It's just a really good, um, exercise. So here we go. Hello, ladybug. Scurry, scurry. Hello, caterpillar. Munch, munch. Scurry, scurry, munch, munch. Lots of fun bugs in this book. Hello, bee. Buzz, buzz. Hello, grasshopper. Crick, crick. Buzz, buzz, crick, crick. Hello, dragonfly. Zuzz, zuzz. Hello, spider. Creep, crawl. And this is a really fun book too because you can also add motions to this. So if you wanted to creep, crawl, you can creep along the arm. Um, on the buzz, you can do a little tickle. It's up to you. These are really good um, adaptable books for that. Hello, snail. Slide, glide. Hello, worm. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Worms are so wiggly. 
Hello, beetle. Scuttle, scuttle. Bye bye, butterfly. Flit, float. Another good thing to note is that high contrast books like this that have a lot of black and white um, with a prominent color are excellent um, to choose for young babies because um, it helps bring out, um, it helps with their development in terms of recognizing um, colors. So really good book to have um, on hand. All right, so here's one of my favorite songs. It's called The Elevator Song. It's really fun and it's awesome because again, you can do it standing up or sitting down, um, so very convenient. And all we're basically going to do is take the elevator up and take it down. But so again, you can adapt this any way you want. You can just keep bouncing. Um, you can you know, do a, a big lift if you want, but you don't have to. It's just a really fun song. So here we go. Oh, and while we sing this first part, you can just do a little bounce, so. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There's a whole lot of people on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We take the elevator up, we take the elevator down, take the elevator up, we take the elevator down, take the elevator up, we take the elevator down and we turn around. So at the end, you can um, add in a little tighter sway, or you can do a squeeze or even a tickle. So it's kind of nice. You can end it whichever way you like, whichever way baby likes. We'll try it one more time, ready? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There's a whole lot of people on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We take the elevator up. We take the elevator down, take the elevator up. We take the elevator down, take the elevator up. We take the elevator down and we turn around. Perfect. All right. So that's actually a really fun one um, that you can actually use for multiple age groups. So as baby gets older, you can still um, uh, use that song and instead just do a full lift um, once they're able to do that so it's really it's a good one to have but our next one is called going on a treasure hunt so this one is going to be all about baby's body so we're going to go on a treasure hunt we're going to do x marks the spot so we're going to tap baby's um, chest and we're going to draw a big circle on the tummy and then a little circle and we're going to dot 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 and then we're gonna crawl up the arm. So we'll do this one a couple of times, maybe even three times, we'll see how it goes. So here we go. Going on a treasure hunt, X marks the spot. Big circle, little circle, dot, dot, dot. Little snakes climb up your back, bite, bite, bite. Little spiders crawl up your back, Bite, bite, bite. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze, squeeze, baby. Now you've got the shivers. So we'll just do some fluttering on the tum for the shivers. All right, let's try it again. Going on a treasure hunt, X marks the spot. Big circle, little circle, dot, dot, dot. Little snakes climb up your back. Bite, bite, bite. Little spiders crawl up your back. Bite, bite, bite. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shivers. The shivers. Perfect. So that's a really fun one, again, that you can do seated, um, and hopefully, again, it gets baby giggling and laughing, especially the, the shivers part. So that brings us to one of my other favorite songs, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Um, so again, this can be adapted for baby as, um, you know, they get older, and then you, you know, on the blast off that we're going to do, you can do a full lift um, or a jump, whichever everyone applies. So for this one though, we're just going to 
do a little bounce. And then we're going to take a trip on the tummy up the rocket ship. So it's just gonna be a little climbing up of fingers. And then for your blast off, you can do a squeeze, um, you can do a deeper rocking, whichever one um, fits. So, all right, here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Bless off! <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's try it one more time. Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Blast off! Perfect. So it'll be really fun to see how baby um, reacts to that song as time goes on and as they get older, um, because it's a really fun one that usually seems to stick. So. It's really great. So we just have our goodbye song um, right now, and it's just going to be a gentle, you know, rocking or swaying. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. It's a nice little soothing song at the end for baby. Um, and before we actually go um, completely, I did want to share a new early literacy tip with you all. Um, so a really good thing to do is to snuggle and hold your baby when you're reading um, to them because they'll enjoy hearing your voice um, and they'll feel that sense of comfort and security, um, which will associate the two together. So reading will be associated with um, comfort and security, and it's just a really good way to to snuggle up um, as a family and also for baby to enjoy a nice story and get comfy. So thank you so much for coming to Itty Bitty Storytime. I'm so glad um, to see you all and we'll be uh, here next week with some different rhymes and some new books. And yeah, we'll have this recorded. All right.